Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sack Studios. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a fun tutorial on what's known as, as a crack and peel. And it's basically where you take a picture of a person, maybe somebody you know, or just a random model, and you want to make it look like their face is cracking and peeling. Um, and it's a really neat effect. It might be fun to do. Uh, take your friend's picture and do a picture of it like that, you know, and post it on their Facebook wall so everybody can laugh at them. No, I'm just kidding, really. Um, before we get started, though, one of uh, my previous viewers told me that uh, my voice sounded like Forrest Gump. I kind of reminded him Forrest Gump, and I am from the southern area, and to him, if he's watching, I'd just like to say that uh, I may not be a very smart man, but I do know how to Photoshop, Jenny. Okay, now I had to get that out of the way, so let's get started. Alright, we've got our picture of our model open. I've removed the background to make this easier for us because we're going to use a clipping mask later. So, I've opened up our cracks picture that we're going to use, and you can find this off Google Images or Stock Photo website. We're just going to go ahead and copy it, and we're just going to paste it right over the top of this. Alright, so now we've got everything we need there. We're going to go ahead and lower the opacity to about 50%, give or take. Okay. And what we also want to do is change the blend mode to multiply. So in the list we're going to go to multiply. Alright. Now we need to adjust the levels. So normally I recommend using adjustment levels because they're non-destructive, but in this case we're just going to hit Control L, bring up our levels box. Now, for you, you may have to play with it a little bit. Um, I find for this, the values that work pretty well are around 30 for the shadows, um, around 89 for the midtones, and somewhere around 195 for the highlights. And like I said, these are rough values, so you can change them as needed, if needed. So, I'm going to say, okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and create a layer mask on our cracks layer. Now, if you don't have a background that you can easily remove, it's not a problem, because once you create your layer mask, make sure you have your black selected, you want a soft round brush, soft round, and you can just adjust the size and so you can just easily edit out places you don't want but if you do have an easily removable background a nice little trick that I like to use is I'll come over here and um, I can right click and create clipping mask and you see how that removes everything except for where the cracks are now we do have a couple things we need to fix if you take a look at it we'll zoom out and look the eyes and the lips have cracks running across them that just doesn't look natural. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that layer mask that we made and we're just going to go ahead and fix that. So with the black selected, we're just going to go ahead and remove the cracks from the lip area as so because we want it to look natural and obviously these cracks aren't going to run across her lips that way and of course the nose area there can't be cracks running through imaginary areas in the nostrils and so on like that there All right, and then we want to remove them of course from the eyes around the eyes is okay we don't want cracks actually inside the eye that just doesn't look right so we do a quick removal of those Remember, we're all just doing this using our layer mask, so quite easy to do. And now we're covered. We've got, you know, our, our cracks. You just kind of want to make sure they line up and look natural. So you've got a crack over here on the ear that's not quite right. So you fix that and uh, come over here and maybe make an adjustment here, there. All right, now what we're going to need to do is go ahead and bring in our good old burn tool. Now what you want to do is select your your first layer with your model on it and you just want to size down your brush a little bit and we just want to go over some of these 
some of these cracks. Make sure you're set to highlights up here in the range. And what, what we're doing is we're just darkening and really bringing out some of the cracks to make it look a lot more realistic. And I'm going kind of fast. You can spend more time if you like, be more precise. Um, we just really want to make those cracks pop. We want to make it look like her face is really, really, really about to fall off. And uh, I know it's a shame to take such a, a beautiful young woman and make her so hideous, but, you know, Hollywood does it all the time. Now, also, um, as we were talking about before using this layer mask, you might, you know, this is totally up to you, but you might want to go ahead and remove the cracks from the eyebrows themselves because generally, the, you know, you wouldn't get the cracks in hair like that. So uh, that's totally up to you. You decide if that's what you want to do. In this case, I am going to do that because I want a natural look. So we're just going to remove those cracks in the eyebrows. And like I said, don't be don't be scared if you go over and mess mess it up because you just flip back to white and you just fix any spot where you accidentally messed up. Okay, that's looking pretty good so far. But now we need to bring in our other rust image that we're going to use to create what looks like a hole in our model's face. So we're just going to copy it and we're going to make sure we have our top layer selected, paste it in. We're going to drag it around. Let's go ahead and change the blend mode on that to multiply as well. And there we go. So you just kind of want to adjust it to see where you want it to be. Alright, so now in this case, I'm going to take it and I'm going to grab my lasso tool, or actually in this case I'll grab, yeah, I'll grab my lasso tool because I want to take and I want to grab this area right here of it, uh -huh, and I just want to cut that out, okay? And uh, now let's go ahead and paste it. We'll get a new layer from that, and we'll just put put that over here for later. So now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and create a layer mask on our rust texture. All right, and once we've done that, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and remove the area around it. All right, so we're just gonna. Gonna jump in here, get rid of everything except for that big gaping hole that we want to keep. Alright, all right. Now, what I also would like to do is go ahead and bring up our hue and saturation, and that's Control U. We want to do it on the rust layer that we're, we're doing, we're working with. Alright, let's lower the saturation to about oh negative sixty-five or so roughly. See how that darkens it up and makes it match? That's great. Now let's go to our next layer that we pasted in, because this is just going to be another area that uh just just looks horrible um you know because of the the problems with her face, you know, so we just we just want these cracks and tears and you just kind of decide where you want it. So let's go with it there. Let's create the layer mask and again we're just going to remove the excess around it. The stuff we don't need, the stuff we don't want. Like that right there. Alright. And again Control U. We're going to lower the saturation as we did on the other. All right, 60, roughly 65, 66. All right, and if you take a look at it, you know there you go. Um, you know you can make uh, other adjustments if you like. You can get into more detail if you're looking to make like a zombie type situation. You can go ahead and cloud out the eyes. Make it really just make it look however you would like it to look. Um, now, 
if you want to add back a background to it you can click on your bottom layer here just create a new layer drag it underneath okay and um, say just we'll just do a gradient I've got a custom gradient I made with that layer selected just grab hold shift and just shoot up toward the top and so at that point we have our awesome looking crack can peel face so let's go ahead and get rid of that right there looks natural so let's back out and take a look all right so I think that looks pretty good um, we've got you know we started out with a pretty young lady who is now has a cracked and peeled face um, that's a fun effect you can do to your friends so this is the end of this particular tutorial um, Tony with Sack Studios if you liked it subscribe to my channel there'll be plenty more coming uh, like and comment please if you'd like it and um, have a great one thanks for stopping by